Hi, my name is Marco. I'm a former opera singer turned voice actor. And this channel is all about how classical music and video game music are intrinsically linked and how basically they're the same thing and should be treated as such. Video game music is a niche of music and it would be amazing if mainstream orchestras and musical venues would start treating video game music as not like a parlor show where you go for a specific night and experience the event of the game music, but actually programmed it as though it's part of the compositional wave of the future, which it is. This is a true reaction video. I've never heard God Shattering Star. I'm really excited to take a listen to it. This is a true blind react. Yeah, let's dive in. I love it when, th this is an example of why the tenor voice is the coolest, most impressive, most amazing uh, male voice. As a tenor, I, <laughs> I mean, check it out. He's like, <laughs> it's so cool. I mean, he just, he just lets her rip. And uh, this is written with, there's something about a man singing high notes. And the reason why tenors are lauded and applauded and, and praised and desired is because it's so unnatural for a man to sing this high in a chest voice. There's a difference, falsetto, you know, Oh, that's head voice. It's all right here. It's all it's all connected to the head. It's it's falsetto. If you listen to when it's chested, that's chest. That's chest voice. And that comes from years of technique and study where you're using your body as the instrument rather than using just your throat and your head. Man, this song slaps.
listen to those. The brass. I love it when piano and strings partner up. I love that lick. It's written in the exact range where the tenor excels at singing because this is the part of the range uh, in the passaggio area. The passaggio is this very narrow part. So basically you've got the lower register. You've got the lower register, which is very like, as you climb up, it's like an hourglass. There is this wide space at the lower register. Then in the passaggio, it tightens up that's where you have to have a precision accuracy because the voice doesn't naturally want to do that. For instance, uh, it's very easy to, uh, if you're if you're as wide as you are at the bottom, you'll never make it through the passaggio into the upper register. So if you go, you narrow and, and then you're able to open back up when you get up to the upper register. Uh, this is so cool. This is written in such an amazingly fun spot for a tenor. This must be so fun to sing, especially. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, gosh. Also, can we talk about how much is happening in here? I can't even like, there's so much going on. I, I have some thoughts that I'll share at the end. That's so cool. Oh, that slaps. I love those drums. The melody is playing both in the male voice and in the orchestra right now. It's adding emphasis to the power of that melody.
That is insane. That is so cool. That is so freaking cool. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, this is like a dire battle. Well, since I, I assume this is the final boss of the game because, you know what's crazy is that I think this this must be like some sort of epic, epic fight because there's so much happening at one time that I think it's done intentionally to confuse because there there is a bit of like, there's a bit of like intensity in the music to symbolize like, yeah, you can handle this. But then there's all these different shifts that it's like, can you handle this? And I think the reason why there's so much instrumentation and so it's such a heavy like orchestrated piece is because the composer wants the player to feel like this is a battle that they could win but they could absolutely lose and it's against like some larger than life god shattering star it must be like a colossal bee of immense power that you can defeat because you have you know whatever support or strength or or the ability to defeat it but you may not and all the instrumentation is, I think, intended to confuse and and draw in fear, but not too much fear. It's badass. God, that's epic. And I, I also love the use that, you know, I think the piece is great on its own, but adding the male voice on here, especially as soloist, at the top of a soloist range, is really, really, really cool. And those high notes are probably B flats, which that's like the money note for a tenor. If you listen to anything from Che Gelli da Manina from, from Puccini's La Boheme, if you listen to Recondi d'Armonia from Tosca, here's a recording of me singing a B flat. All of those notes, that's the money note. That's where as a as a as a male singer, you feel this like surge of power because it's so unnatural to hear a man sing that high and support that high. And uh it really just it, it rips through your like core and you're like, dang, that's I always think of this word virility, but it's like so many great Italian arias. Aria is a song, but aria in Italian means it's a specific, it's a solo sung piece. So many arias finish on that high note, a B flat especially, and uh, also French and German as well, but German is a little bit different. Anyway, it's a whole, that's a separate discussion about leitmotifs and, and the different styles of each uh, region because each country has different sounds. French has a very specific sound. Italian has a very specific sound. The same styles of writing for, for, for the tenor voice have not changed. And again, this goes back to the whole concept of this channel. This music should exist in a symphony hall. I mean, this is crazy and people will be like, what the hell is that? But there's a reason for why it needs to exist in there. This is like true classical composition dialed up to 10. It's just astounding. God, I can't believe I had never heard of this before. It is so good. Oh, that slaps. It, it sounds like there's pride in there too, you know? There's like, there's pride. It sounds like there's courage. I think the song really encapsulates like fighting against an adversary that may best you, but you won't give up and you'll never surrender. I think that's why there's less, there's a lot of tension in this music, but that's why it, it, it feels empowering. And because it's the way it's moving forward and processing through the piece, even at the end, you notice there's that part where it's like, because it's like, I don't know, I might not win. I might not be able to do this. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. This is amazing. Anyway, as always, that's it. This was a total blast. And uh, yeah, looking forward to doing the next one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.